Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio and thank you so much for joining me today. If you are like me, you've got yourself a Synology NAS or you're thinking about getting a Synology NAS, but you want to know what happens when a disk goes wrong or what are the signs to look out for when a disk is failing. Before we do get into that, please click on the subscription button below so that you don't miss out on anything. All right, so before we do get into this, I just wanna let you know about a training course that I've got about all things Synology NAS. Start to finish, how to set it up, how to configure it, how to install apps, how to get the best performance, how to troubleshoot, all things Synology NAS. Do check out my show notes below because I've got a full length online training course specifically on the Synology NAS. It will be super, super helpful to you. So do check that out. All right, so what if you've got a bad disk? What if you've got a failing disk? What are the signs to look out for? What if a disk has failed? How do you run tests on it? All of that, we're gonna cover that today. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna log into my computer. So I've logged in via the IP address on a browser. We're gonna get into there right now and we're gonna show you what to look out for. So of course your Synology NAS has disks inside of it, right? You may have a Synology with two disks, with four disks, with eight, with 16, with 32, whatever the combination of hard drives is. Well, you've got a whole bunch of disks in there and from time to time, your disks will go bad. There'll be bad sectors, there'll be errors. You'll have disks that die, disks that you'll need to be replaced, rebuild RAID groups, rebuild your storage groups, all of that sort of stuff. So it's very important for you to go and diagnose and understand the health of your disks uh, from time to time. This all comes to comes uh, makes it a bit easier when you do have notifications turned on. So there is another video talking about notifications, but you can make it so that your NAS automatically sends you alerts when there are um, disk failures or bad sectors or something like that. Uh, so that's something that I definitely would recommend. But let's Log in, here we are in our DSM. We've logged in and we're gonna show you where to look at uh, diagnosing disks and the health and all that sort of stuff. So from here, we're gonna go into our little main menu up the top and we're gonna select storage manager over here. This is the manager, this is the software, the application to manage all of your storage on your Synology NAS. And you'll see that overall, the health of my Synology NAS is healthy, that's great. This Synology NAS, of course, has four disks. There are four disks in here, and uh, they're made up of one storage pool, and everything from this perspective looks healthy. I don't really have too much information when it comes to my storage pool itself and my volume. Then you've got your volume, a little bit of an overview of the volume right here, okay? You can see some more information there. You've got your storage pool information right from here. Here are my four drives, drives one through to four, and all of them seem to say that they're healthy. Great, so far so good. Now we wanna delve down even deeper. When you go into the HDD slash SSD area, and here I've got my disks. I can see straight away the four disks that they're brand Seagate. I've got one Western Digital in there, the size of those disks, and I've got little drop down arrows here to see more information about those disks, including the serial number, the firmware version, and the overall health status of each disk being healthy. So that all looks good. Now what you can do is you can get more information here is I can select my drive one and click on health info. Here, this will now bring up a lot more information about my actual Synology hard drive, about the hard drive itself. So overall, the disk appears to be healthy. There's been no drive reconnection counts. It's zero. Bad sectors is zero. Drive is zero. Everything seems to look okay. The temperature looks okay. I would recommend doing a smart test from time to time. As it says, it detects and reports various indicators regarding a disk's reliability or a drive's reliability. This test will assess the condition of certain smart attributes. So your drives, disks, motors, circuits, all that sort of stuff. So I would recommend going and doing this from time to time. You've got a quick test, you've got an extended test. You'll see that here, I've got my quick test is healthy and that's when it was last run and they're both healthy because I run them from time to time. But you can also schedule these in, which is really, really good, all right? So you can schedule them in, so it automatically goes and does scans of your disks as it needs to. But to kick one of these off, you can just go into quick test and select start right on here. It'll take about one minute is what it says, and you can click on yes. Now, generally what I recommend is if you're using your NAS in a production environment, there's data that you cannot afford to go offline ever, I would recommend doing these sort of scans outside of business hours or outside of your, you know, the hours where you're, you may be running this test. Not because the disc will go down, but because it's just more of a good practice to sort of run 
health checks and scans like this outside of you know production hours because there can be blips, there can be little outages, there could be a performance hit because the disc is being scanned, etc., etc. So just be keeping that in mind. Scan is complete, came out healthy. That's really, really good. Now here's some other things that we'll look at. We'll check the history and sort of see how that went in a second. But you've got some smart attributes. So the smart attribute value derives from the drives. Right? And each smart attribute indicates certain information regarding the drive status. Okay, so you can click on the details here and you'll see exactly the sort of stuff that uh, this attribute um, is, is checking against. The values, the worst, the thresholds. And it says essentially here that it'll alert you, it'll send you a notification if any of these are significant changes and something that you need to be aware of to prevent data loss. And it just lets you know that you may have need to replace a disk or backup data, things of that nature, all right? Let's look at the history over here. Here you've got a bit more information. It shows you essentially that's the last test that we just ran. It was healthy, excellent, looks really good. You've got further key information on the drives if you so choose to. These are all clear. There's nothing really to count there, Not nothing to be concerned about. You can also export all of this data if you so choose to and you need to export that say to a um, HTML or CSV file, like an Excel file. Okay, that's a little bit of an overview on that. Now. Uh, let's look at um, another drive. So I do know that because of some of my notifications, some of my alerts that have been coming through, and even when I'm logging into my Synology, you know, throws out some alerts from time to time. I do know that um, drive three has been having some sector issues, some bad sector issues. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna click on health info. And you're gonna see that actually bad sector count is five. So there you go. I've actually had five bad sector counts um, on this disc, all right? So I can go into my smart, and uh, healthy, no smart on this one. So what I would probably then do is I would run an extended test on this because that's something that I should probably check out. Here's the history of what's been going on. And if I click on key information of drives, there I've got my sectors, or my five bad sectors that happened in January, March, April, May, and June. Something for me to have a think about, have a look at. Okay, so you can see the single month there. All right, for those days, you can also see the incrementals, how it's been looking. So even though this disc overall appears healthy, we've already started seeing some bad sectors against it. So it's more something for you to be aware of, something for you to take notice of. The more and more it's happening, it may eventually lead to some disc failures, but it could also just be that there's some, um, you know, some bad sectors on the disc that may just need a bit of cleaning up as well. So it doesn't mean necessarily that the drive will fail, but it's just signs that you need to be aware of and be across. I've then got the logs area over here. Here we got a whole bunch of warnings. Look at that. So you can see they're all against drive three. A whole bunch of IO errors have occurred. There's a number of bad sectors. So this is something that you, good to see. You can export it. Our task scheduler, here I've got a little task scheduler to auto run the smart test. You can create your own one. They're really good to have and I would recommend that you do, uh, you know, do one of these. I've got an edit here. It's gonna run a quick, for example, in the settings area, I can see exactly uh, some reports that I can get sent to me to send monthly reports, enable bad sector warnings, things of that nature. Something else that is good from time to time is to update the drive database. You can go and do that. It has done it not too long ago, but that's just make sure that your database is up to date. So on our Synology NAS right here, I know that I've got a disk that is failing because I do have some notifications on. So I do get emails letting me know that the disk is nearly failed. I do have my little widgets and I can see from my system health that there is actually something going on. So I can see an attention, disk status is abnormal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log into my main menu and go to storage manager. Now in here, you'll see that there's an attention. So straight away, I've got four disks on this NAS and one of these disks requires some attention because there is a warning. Now you may be seeing something similar. I've got some serious issues on this disk. I can actually do a health info and I can see that I've had a number of bad sector counts, 17, and it's failing. So it's recommending me to please back up your data and then replace the drive immediately. Now, of course, by replacing your disk, you're gonna need to install a brand new disk and your RAID needs to now rebuild. Now you need to make sure that you've got a proper RAID set up because this could be a really bad thing for you if you have set up your Synology NAS with no proper RAID redundancy, so that if a disk fails, then you can replace it. Now, in my case, I've used the Synology Hybrid RAID with data protection for one drive fault. So I can actually remove that disk 
and install a brand new disk and it'll be fine and it'll rebuild my disk. But you'll see that my overall storage pool has entered a warning status. Okay, now if you've set this up on a RAID 0 or a different sort of RAID that may not have redundancy, be aware because you're going to remove the disk and you're potentially going to lose data. Make sure that your RAID is correct and that it does have a at least a single disk redundancy. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to actually replace this disk. Now, of course, you need to locate your drive that you need to replace. If you have a NAS with a lot more drives, I'd recommend selecting that failing disk and selecting locate drive. Uh, get your status indicator, the light on that disk to turn to orange, letting you know which disk it is, preventing you from removing the wrong drive by mistake. So I'm going to just do that as well. In the hard drive SSD, D, I'm going to select my drive three, which is failing. I'm going to go to action. I'm going to say deactivate right up here. This action will kick drive three out of the associated storage pool volume and system partition. I understand. So the drive has been deactivated. You can now replace that drive. Uh, this is a smaller Synology NAS and we're going to remove one of the disks which has failed and then add a new disk in. The process is very, very similar on a four or a five bay NAS or even a larger eight, 10, 16, 32 bay NAS as well. Literally just remove the disk. You take the disk out of the enclosure, out of the casing, put the new one in and then slot it back in. So with the disk now replaced, you'll hear that your NAS obviously has started beeping in the background. You'll see that the status of my drive three, which is now being detected, now says not initialized. So it's now ready to go. It looks green, so I can look at health info of that drive and just make sure it's all running okay. And you'll see that it's running healthy. That's great, excellent. The next step is now to go into your storage pool over here. Here is your degraded storage pool. Obviously we now need to fix this, we need to repair this. So we're gonna now select action and then repair. We're gonna select the new drive that we've just inserted right there. I'm gonna select next. You're gonna get a warning that all data on the newly added drive will be erased. So just be very careful when you are doing this. We don't wanna erase data on your other disks. It's just this one new disk that you're adding. You wanna now erase it and then add it back to the pool. If everything has gone well, the beeping on your NAS should stop and your status on your NAS now, on your storage pool should say repairing. It's checking the parity consistency, etc. Here are my four disks now. They all look normal, all look healthy. And now it's just repairing and then rebuilding or re-adding, adding that disk back into my storage pool and into the volume. You'll also notice if you go back into the hard drive tab, that the drive has now moved from initialized to being healthy because now we've actually added that disk into our pool. Bad disks, failing disks, how to run tests, what to look out for on your Synology NAS. Please do what you do in the social media world by liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking on my face right over there. And do check out some of my other videos and playlists on my channel. I talk about a lot of stuff around tech, but also a lot of stuff around storage. So do check that out.